Well, good afternoon, everyone. I guess we should say good morning and welcome to the Sun Dome in Yakima. Mark Scolton here along with Dan Kamick. Jennifer Zaremba is our in-studio producer. First of five today involving Whatcom County teams from the Sun Dome here in Yakima. So glad to have you tuned in. Let's see who's going to live on in an all Whatcom County affair right here. It's the Linden Christian girls taking on the Meridian Trojans. By the way, the winner has the, uh, well, we'll say enviable task of playing at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning against Bellevue Christian in the fourth and sixth place trophy game. Meridian, Linden Christian, Dan, bluntly put, the Lynx did not expect to be here. It was Mount Baker yesterday. Mountaineers got them. Linden Christian falls into this one. What's it like in that LC locker room after a loss like yesterday? Well, there's a resilience to kids, I'll tell you that. I mean, this is a program that, exactly like you said, they expect to be in the semifinals. They expect a solid run every year toward the state championship if they can. Uh, yesterday, quite frankly, got beat by a team that just flat out played better. Um, that's not something they're used to doing here. This is a kind of unfamiliar territory for this group. So you rely on your leaders, and the assumption is usually your leaders are your seniors. Well, that seniors is not plural. It's senior. We've got a one. Yeah. And she's a great one, Emily Bailey. And so I'm sure Emily had some things to say. But, you know, Avery and Sam, Avery Dykstra and Sam Below both have played a lot. And so you would like to think they all picked it up. But this is, a, this is an interesting thing here because you've got two teams that are definitely deserve hardware. Uh, there's a lot to like about Meridian, what they do and how they go about it. They are a scrappy, tough group. They are familiar with Linden Christian, so that won't be a problem. Um, Linden Christian has got them twice, um, maybe third time's a charm for the Trojans. Dan Meridian got it taken to them yesterday. They end up losing uh, by a pretty big margin against those Granger Spartans. Your thoughts on this Meridian team? You sound like you're impressed, and obviously they have improved a lot this year under Coach Gilmore. Well, I, you know, I know Coach Gilmore. Uh, played, you guys got history, don't we you? We played against each other in high school. He has definitely taken his attitude, the way he played, too, and his team kind of shows you how that is. Very gritty, very tough, uh, good mindset, won't back down from anybody. Uh, they're going to be in a situation here where they will be the team that is obviously shorter um, won't have the height, but they will make up with it, having watched them with a lot of grit and a lot of determination. And they will not be in awe of Lennon Christian one bit. So they've got point guard that's a senior. Uh, they've got some good shooters on the outside. They will have to hit threes. This is third day for Meridian, second day for Lennon Christian. Will fatigue play a factor? Uh, you never know. It's 1030 in the morning in Yakima <laughs> on a Friday. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but again... When you make a living uh, on, on the fate of 16, 17-year-old, 15, 14-year-old kids, um, you just don't know what you're going to get. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what we get this morning. Folks, it's the Meridian Girls against Linden Christian. Got to win to live on. We'll take a time out, come back, give you the starters for this one in a moment on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. Folks, we're back here at the Sun Dome in Yakima. Mark Skolton alongside Dan Kamick. Loser out game today here in the third day of state. The Meridian Trojans taking on the Linden Christian Lynx. Let's take a look at the starters. And it goes like this for Coach Brady Bomber and Linden Christian. One forward is Tarina Hamas. Tarina the sophomore at 5 feet 10 inches tall. Another sophomore out there is Isabella Hernandez. Isabella again at 6 feet tall. Also starting out there is Sam Van Lowe, the junior, at six foot one. Avery Dykstra is also in the starting lineup, the junior at five foot nine. And the fifth starter is the lone senior we mentioned a while ago. That's Emily Bailey, the senior at five foot six. For Coach Mark Gilmore and his Meridian Trojans, it looks like this. Starting guard is Riley Zapian. Riley the senior at five foot eight. The shooting guard, she's even listed as an SG in the program. Shooting guard is Kyron Backlin, the junior. At five foot seven, in the three guard rotation, there's Elise Fitzgerald, the junior, at five foot six. Emily Stuth will start at forward, the senior at five foot nine, and also out there is Kiana Gray, the senior, at five foot ten. Meridian and Linden Christian winner here will go on to play for fourth and sixth place coming up tomorrow at eight o'clock in the Blessed A.M. Loser has their season come to an end. We'll take a timeout, come back, continue the countdown to the opening tip in a moment right here on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. We go between Meridian and Linden Christian from the Sun Dome in Yakima. Let's tip this baby off. Brought to you on KPUG by Northwest Propane, locally owned and operated for over three generations. Personalized service is the cornerstone of their business. 
at Northwest Propane. The Lynx in white win the opening tip. The black clad Meridian Trojans come back on defense. Looks like we have a travel right away on Isabella Hernandez for Lyndon Christian. So turn it over, and it'll be Meridian ball. Little, little cup of coffee here in the morning from Coach Bomber as he opens up with some pressure. Try to get him, you know, not a bad idea. Wake him up right away, do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Didn't do this yesterday till late in the game. Lennon Christian in their traditional man-to-man defense. Elise Fitzgerald give it off to Backlund on top for Meridian. Backlund top of the key, jump shot off the rim, no good. Long rebound, Backlund saves it and bounce right into the hands of Tarina Hamas, LC ball. Lead pass up the floor, Emily Bailey. Emily has that one go off her hands and out of bounds. A little too tall for it, goes out and give it back to Meridian. Good morning. Two two possessions, two turnovers. Coach Bomber over there just clapping his hands, saying, all right, girls, going to have to live with that a little bit to get started. We've been here, what, 40 seconds already, a couple yeah. of exchanges of possession. Meridian the other way, Fitzgerald long three left side off the rim, no good. Sam Van Lowe takes a hard shot, but I love Sam because she finds that funny. Yeah. Goes down, gets up, big smile on her face. We'll have a pushing foul against Meridian. One of those things that a referee has absolutely no choice because the incidental contact would have caused a violation. And so Gray from Meridian kind of bumps Sam, not intentionally or anything. She gets the foul because Sam would have traveled. Lyndon Christian the other way. Hernandez straight away. About a 12-foot hopper. Swirls out. No good. Emily Bailey tips the rebound. Grab by Fitzgerald of Meridian. Long lead baseball pass to Riley Zapian, wearing that mask to protect the broken nose. Float it down low. It's in the hands of Emily Stuth. Stuth out on top to Zapian. Riley high floater with the left hand. Rattles out. No good. LC rebound. Avery Dykstra has it. Avery long lead pass. Here's Hernandez again. Isabella the other way. Hit the trailer. Tarina Hamas. Hamas, is that going to be a travel? Yep. Tarina walked with it. Give it back to Meridian. So you were here, did you go, were you at the game when uh, Zapian hurt herself? I was. That happened yeah. at Mount Lake Terrace. I believe I listened to some of that. Yep. You were really impressed with her resilience and toughness through all that. I hated to sound ghoulish, but she she had opened it up pretty good. There was a good amount of blood, and she played through it, and I was going to say she was amused by it. Maybe that's radio yeah. speak, but yeah. Riley seemed entertained. She had to go to the locker room a few times, and turns out it was broken. She's been fitted for the mask and wow. playing like a trooper. Lyndon Christian leading 3-2 to two on turnovers at this point. But no <laughs> scores yet. Minute and a half in. Links the other way. Down low, Hamas. Kick it out right side, Bailey. Emily in the paint to Van Lowe. Sam falls down to the deck. Looks like we'll have a pushing foul against Meridian. See which Trojan this is going to be on. Van Lowe has hit the deck hard twice already in a minute 45. Emily Stuth will get called for the foul. LC will throw it in under their own hoop. In it comes to Hamas. Baseline jumper off the rim. No good. Meridian rebound. That's Emily Stuth again. Give it to Zapian and Riley over midcourt. Give it over here near side. That's Elise Fitzgerald again. Three-point range left side. A favorite spot of hers. Elise circling out on top with the dribble. Over it goes right side to Backlund. No scoring. We played over two minutes in this loser out game. Backlund, three-pointer top of the key. Up and good. Kyron Backlund gets it to go. Three-zip Meridian. Real impressed with her yesterday in that game versus Granger. She was really making, she was the one making the shots in the fourth quarter. Opens up with a three. Meridian will have to have that. Lyndon Christian the other way. Hamas, 15-footer, is off the back rim. No good. Stuth the rebound for the Trojans. Backland over midcourt for Meridian. LC fans across the way from us. Meridian fans right behind us. Here they come handed off. Kiana Gray one step to the rack and she lays it up and in. Kiana gets it to go. It's an early 5-0 Meridian lead. Coach Bomber has seen enough and he will call a timeout. Just a 30-second break. 5.15 to go. First quarter. Meridian 5. Linden Christian zip back in a moment on KPUG. Back here at the Sundome in Yakima. Good start for the Meridian girls. An early 5-0 lead against Linden Christian. Remember, it's a loser out game. Loser wakes up and it's softball season tomorrow. Here comes Linden Christian the other way. Hernandez baseline jumper is up and good. Isabella gets it to go. A three on the baseline. Three minutes in. 5-3 Meridian. Familiar look from yesterday. Isabella really got it going in the fourth quarter. A little bit too little too late. Zapian down the middle with the drive and the lay-in. Beautiful play for Meridian. Wow. Riley goes the distance. Lays it in. Lefty gets fouled and she'll go to the line. And again, just looks tough with the LeBron James mask on out there. 
No, that was impressive drive. Good answer. Hernandez with the three down here gets Lennon Christian right at but Zapian right back down right at him before they could set up. Completes the three-point play. Zapian buries the free throw. 8-3 Meridian. Dan, a lot of these games over the years on day three, there's a lot of want-to out there, isn't it? You better, usually. Yes, you yeah, better want usually. to. That can make up for some tired legs. Emily Bailey the other way. Baseline near side for LC. Kick it out, Van Lowe on the wing, down low. Turn around, laying it up and in that time. That's Trina Hummus. Hummus gets her first hoop. 8-5, Meridian out in front. Trojans the other way. Backlund, three-point distance, left side. Circling out on top with the dribble. Kyron pull up on the baseline. Shot rejected by Sam Van Lowe. Van Lowe knocks it out of bounds. No, it was last touched by Meridian. The Trojans knocked it out of bounds. Give it to LC. Here come the links. Riley Dykstra checking in for LC. Also see Grace Sterk out there. Meridian employing much the same plan, plan as Mount Baker did yesterday with a 2-3 zone, really looking to limit Avery Dykstra's penetration, Lennon Christian in a bit of a weave off up front. Halfway through, whistle blows. Looks like to be a foul on Zapian here. Lennon Christian with ball side out on the side, 8-5 here trying to cut into this Meridian lead. Meridian with a nice start at the beginning of this game. Halfway through this opening quarter. Avery Dykstra brings it ahead, left side Hernandez right in front of the Meridian bench. Back to Avery Dykstra, ball gets tipped out of bounds. Looks like Zapian got a hand in the passing lane. Give it to Isabella Hernandez on the inbound. Isabella takes the return pass. Down low it goes in the corner. That's Grace Sterk. Grace to Dykstra. Back to Grace. Over to Hernandez. Baseline three. Rimming short. No go. LC the rebound. Sterk has it. Ball actually didn't hit the rim, so it didn't reset. Give it to Van Lowe at the free throw line, and Sam hits the 15-foot jumper. Pull the links to within one. Meridian up 8-7. Backlund on the dead run over midcourt. Over it goes right side. Zapian for three. Air ball. A little wide left. LC rebound. Dykstra, the point guard with the recovery. Avery will keep it herself. Here she comes, loses the ball, gets it back, and lays it in left-handed. Coach Gilmore not liking that at all. Nobody stops ball all the way down. 90-foot drive out of Dykstra for the lay-in, giving the Lynx the first lead. Here comes Meridian. Within one at 9-8. to eight. Fitzgerald steps into a three, top of the circle. It's off the rim, no good. Fight for the rebound. Van Lowe has it for Linden Christian. Here come the Lynx, moving to our right. Avery Dykstra, the distance, left-hand layup. No, she left it short. Rebound taken by Kyron Backlin of Meridian, and it looks like Coach Gilmore wants a timeout. He does. We'll take a break with 2.47 to go. First quarter, LC9, Meridian 8. Back in a moment on KPUG. Just over five minutes into this loser out game. Linden Christian, Meridian girls. Trojans have led most of the way. Meridian, excuse me, Linden Christian has just taken a 9-8 lead. Trojan ball, here they come. Coach Gilmore with the timeout. Dykstra, Avery Dykstra, two full court drives. One one ended up in the lay-in. Coach Mommer comes out, switches up the defense. Riley Dykstra with the steal. Riley steals. Here she comes. Link to the court. Drive. Right hand layup. No good. Big sister Avery there to clean up the miss. Avery miss, misses, rather. Sterk on the recovery. The third one won't go, but it looks like Grace got fouled. We'll see if Sterk is going to the line. Each Dykstra had a chance on that layup attempt. It did not go. Sterk is right there for opportunity number three. And see if Grace can convert from the line. Credit to Avery Dykstra and then Grace Sterk for running. Because Riley looked like Riley Dykstra looked like she was going to get the wide open lay in. Didn't go work out that way. Avery with the follow didn't go in. Grace Sturt comes in, cleans it up, gets two shots at the free throw line, makes the first one. First point for Grace. 10 8, Lynx. Second free throw up and good. Grace's first two. 11 8, LC. Lynn and Christian here on an eight point run. Meridian's got to answer with something. Here come the Trojans. Angle it over right side, working that right-hand dribble as Taryn Tuttero into the game after the timeout. Left side, Fitzgerald squares for a three, partially rejected. They get a hand on it. Trina Hamas out of the pack for LC. Josie Bocci on the floor now for Lyndon Christian. Lead pass, Dykstra. Here comes Avery. Right side it goes. Bocci out beyond the arc. Top of the key, Avery Dykstra. 
Right side Bocce, skip it down low to Sterk. Grace back on top, Dykstra. Avery squares for a three, rimming left, no good. Fight for the rebound, ball goes out. Hamas touched it last for Lyndon Christian, so give it to Meridian. Coach Bomber liking this 2-3 zone that he's dropped into. Josie Bocce gave uh, LC good minutes yesterday, three three-pointers. She's impressive. So she's in the game, kind of got them started to what ended up not being enough against Baker from a comeback standpoint. Minute and a half in the first quarter, 11-8. Lyndon Christian, Fitzgerald, top of the key. Elise playing keep away with the dribble. Give it off for Tutteros. High floater with the left hand. Up and good. Taryn gets it to go. Her first bucket. 11-10. Meridian within one. Trojans the other way. Riley Dykstra in the far corner. She's right in front of the Meridian bench. Width of the court pass. Bocce. Here's Josie for a three, and it's rimming short. No good. Meridian rebound. Here they come on the run. Riley Zapian over midcourt. Left to right hand dribble. Dispatch it right side. That's Tedero again. She's in front of the LC bench. Taryn, one dribble and done. Fitzgerald, top of the key. Float it down low. Kiana Gray has it down low. Backs bump, switches left hand. Layup won't go. Hamas, the rebound for LC. Good job of staying straight up and down by Tarina Hamas there. Didn't leave her feet. Made for a tough shot by Gray. Lead pass, Avery Dykstra. The trailer Hamas, about an 18-footer. Rimming short, no good. Kiana Gray, the Meridian rebound. Final half minute of the first quarter. Zapian walking over midcourt with the lefty dribble. There's only about three seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Kiana Gray at the free throw line. Turns into a 15-footer and sticks it right in the heart. Nice move by Kiana Gray, her second bucket. 12-11. Meridian out in front. LC the other way. Dykstra, three-pointer, top of the key, rimming off. No good. Five seconds for Zapian, the rebound. Couple dribbles. Riley about a 40-footer before the horn comes up short. And we have a pretty entertaining first quarter in the books here in Yakima. Loser out game. Got a win to move on. At the end of one, Meridian 12, Lyndon Christian 11. Back in a moment on KPUG. Taryn Tudero of Meridian will throw the inbounds pass right in front of us, and we're underway with the second quarter. Meridian by a point, 12-11 over Lyndon Christian. Got to win this one to live on to play bright and early tomorrow, the 8 a.m. game against the Bellevue Christian Vikings. Handling on top for Meridian. That's Natalie Swanson just into the game. Natalie loses the handle on the ball. It's loose. Girls go down after it. Meridian will maintain. It's in the hands of Tudero. Top of the key, Zapian. Down low. Layup attempt. Partially rejected out of bounds. Jolie Sipma with her first touch. Meridian will throw it in. Seven on the shot clock. Zapian to inbound. Riley unload. In it comes for a turnaround layup attempt by Sitma off the rim. No good. Sam Van Lowe the rebound for LC. Give it to Bocce and Josie pedaling with that dribble over midcourt. Bocce tries to throw it back to Sam Van Lowe and bluntly put through it way too hard. Right through Sam's hands and out of bounds. Give it back to Meridian. Threw it with the velocity of someone 15 feet away from you. The only problem was she was about one foot away. So <laughs> definitely one that you would like to have back. Good action toward the end of the first quarter. It's a little sluggish on the start, but both teams playing pretty well here. Meridian the other way. Zapian top of the key, handed off to Tudero. A couple dribbles and done. Hit the cutter now. That's Natalie Swanson. Touch pass Zapian. Out it comes. Tudero, three-point range right side. Taryn, we had so much fun watching her brother Tanner play a lot of sports for Meridian. He's also the football quarterback. Yeah, I didn't enjoy it. Give it, give it off right side. 18-footer is off the rim. No good that time for Jolie Sipma. Ball didn't hit the rim, so it's a 30-second shot clock violation. Give it to the Lynx. Tanner playing some baseball at Yakima Valley College, so we're in his part of the world right now. Sounds about right. Yeah. 12-11. Meridian out in front. No points yet in this second quarter. Emily Bailey stops top of the key. Float it left side for Hamas. Ball is tipped. It's loose. Fight for it. Goes out of bounds. Who touched it last? Looks like Tudoro knocked it out for Meridian. Again, Meridian playing the 2-3 zone, trying to find the shooters. If you're looking out here right now, you would find Hernandez for sure based on yesterday. But Sam Velo's done a nice job of if it does come in and she doesn't have a look of popping it back out. So look for that. LC the other way. There's Hernandez in the corner. High arcing three. Will rim short. Venlo the rebound for LC. Give it over left side. Hernandez has it again. Top of the key, Emily Bailey. Emily ball fakes. Van Lowe at the free throw line. 
Out it comes to Hernandez. Isabella Higharker with the left hand. Swirls out. No good. Been low the rebound. Sam loses the handle on the ball. Meridian has it. Here comes Fitzgerald on the one run. Elise the other way. Pull up right of the paint. Now she'll circle out on top. No fast break after all. And the quick closing links. Right side. That's Tannis Harrison on the dribble to Fitzgerald. Right side. Down low. Kiana Gray. Kick it out left side. Harrison ball fakes. Pull up. About an eight foot hopper with the right hand. Is off the rim. No good. Riley Dykstra on the run over midcourt. Right in front of us on the near wing. Riley give it off in the corner for a baseline three. That is up and good. That is Emily Bailey getting it to go. Emily's first hoop. Whistle stops the action. Oh, Emily swished it so well the net stuck. So they got to throw the ball up there and knock it loose. That ever happened to you? Uh, rarely. Okay. No, not in actual game competition. Master of the backyard. Really? But not in a real game. All right. Well, I just checking. I yeah, wanted to know. I was frequently told to get out of the way during <laughs> real games. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they meant it in love. Sure. I mean, you know, hey. Sign of respect. Sure. 14-12. Linden Christian up by a deuce. Meridian the other way. Tedero with the left-hand dribble. Give it off now. It's Kyron Backlund. Kyron had a great day yesterday in that losing effort against Granger. Yeah, certainly. You have to be aware where she is. She can hit it from deep. Fitzgerald now beyond the arc. Back on top. Backlund. Kyron squares for a three. It's off the rim. No good. Vinlo with the recovery. Give it to Dykstra. Long lead pass taken by Riley Dykstra. Pull up 12-foot hopper left side off the iron. No go. Loose ball foul in the fight for the rebound. It's going to be on LC. What you call a good, aggressive, physical blockout by Backlund. Took care of Bransma. Kind of moved her out. Bransma over the back. Cheyenne will get called for this one. Meridian will get it back. 5.05 to go in this opening half. Links by a hoop. They lead Meridian 14-12. This is a loser-out game here in Yakima. Zapian spinning with the dribble. Over it comes near side now. It's Elise Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald on top. Angles right side. Go back to Backlund. Backlund looking for the cutter. Zapian who crosses over to the other side. Fitzgerald on top. Now they'll get it to Riley out beyond the arc on the right angle. Zapian drive, switches right hand, layup won't go. She got fouled on her way in. It was before the shot, so they'll inbound. We'll see who it's on for the Lynx. It's like Riley Dykstra. Yep. Riley good. will get dinged for that one. Good job by Zapian, kind of feeling that Dykstra was a little bit out of position and then taking her on the drive. Trojans will throw it in right into their own hoop. Elise Fitzgerald on the handle, spinning with the dribble. Avery Dykstra trying to stay in front of her. Kiana Gray right side. Keon has a couple buckets in this game already. Another one here could tie it up. Jolie Sitma on top in the near corner. Gray kick it out on top. Riley Zapian again. Loaded in the corner. Fitzgerald Elise for a three. It's up and perfect. Elise Fitzgerald. Good looking corner three. Trojans have the lead back. 15-14. Great find by Zapian. Avery Dykstra kind of took her eyes off of Fitzgerald for just a split second. And that's all that Zapian needed to find her. Linden Christian the other way. They botched the scoreboard. We'll see if they get it right here in a minute. Van Lowe, excuse me, that's Cheyenne Bransma coming the other way. Her shot won't go. Loose ball foul on the fight for the rebound. See what's on. This could be on Cheyenne again. Sam Van Lowe. Sam Van Lowe, that's right. Yeah. Sam will get called for this one. Got to be impressed with Jolie Sipma there on the block out from Meridian. A strong girl blocked out Van Lowe, Van Lowe over the back. Just her first foul, though, for Sam. They only gave Fitzgerald two, by the way. I think I credited her with a three. Whoops, a daisy. Tied at 14, 3.35 to go. First half off the inbound. Zapian on the baseline. Riley's jumper is up and good. She's up to five points in this contest. Six, excuse me, 17 at 14. Meridian out in front. LC the other way. Avery Dykstra cuts into the paint. About a 14-foot hopper straight away. Is off the rim. No good. Goes out of bounds. And Meridian will get it back. Good job of officiating there. Dykstra gained some contact from Gray. But Gray was straight up. Did not move. And while that did affect the shot, it was not on Gray. And so they just let it go. And Avery shoots the ball. And far short. Now Meridian with a chance to extend on a three-point lead here, playing good basketball. Trojans already up 17-14, and it looks like we'll have an offensive foul, maybe a moving screen by Kiana Gray out there on top. Zapian trying to work around her. 
See what I did there? I sung her praises down here, and then I, she gets a foul down here. I have to take responsibility for that you one. you got to own it. Yeah. The responsibility that comes with these headphones. Well, gone right. I didn't know that. Three, we learned the hard way. 3-12 yeah. in the first half. 17-14. Meridian out in front. Here come the links. Emily Bailey brings it across. Left side, that's Avery Dykstra at long range. Right hand dribble, pull up, about an 18-footer straight away. Up and good, Avery Dykstra. Probably have to describe that as her favorite move from what we've seen the last couple of years. Avery up to 4 points, 17-16, Meridian by one, they have the ball. Yeah, if you get Avery on the wing like she was there with Bailey at the point, you got to think that Coach Bomber's thinking of a play specific for Avery, and that was the case there. At the head of the key, give it back to Kyron Backlund. Backlund cuts into the paint, switches right hand. High layup is up and good. Backlund just kind of weaving through traffic that time. 19-16, Meridian by three, two and a half till halftime. Emily Bailey out beyond the arc on the right side. Float it down low. Touch pass to Sturk, and Grace lays it up and in. Well done, Grace up to four points. 19-18, Dan. Easily the best sequence offensively for LC right there. Bailey with the entry to the high post. Dykstra right down to Sturk for the easy lay-in. Really nice play. Meridian out at long range. That's Jolie Sitma. Give it to Elise Fitzgerald. Drives baseline. Kisses it off the window. Too strong, Emily Bailey, the rebound. How about the only senior for the Lynx, Emily Bailey, everywhere so far early in this one. Right side, Avery Dykstra. Back it goes, Sister Riley in the corner, Hernandez. Isabella for three, off the rim, no good. Loose ball foul on the fight for the rebound. Grace Sturk puts her hands up to her head and said, oh, no, it can't be on me, so it must be. Yeah, it's going to be, and, you know, this is what Meridian has to do. They are the team that is not as tall, so they got to do a great job of blocking out. Now, we've had two situations where Sitma first, and now I believe Stuth was on that one. Uh, good block out, forcing the over the back. So it's kind of basketball they're going to have to play here against the Lynx. And you know, right now they're doing fine. Up one here with just a, just under two minutes to play. Meridian the other way. Kyron Backlin on the run over midcourt. Catches up with it in the corner. Circles out on top with the dribble being shadowed by the long arms of Isabella Hernandez. Emily Stuth over on the far side. Float it down low. Sitma catches. Switches to the left hand. Turn around layup. Off the rim. No good. Grace Sturk the recovery. On a team full of white headbands, I'm concerned. Grace has lost hers. Oh, Hand goodness. it off to Avery Dykstra. 12-footer straight away. Off the rim. No good. Ball is loose. Sapien in the rebound for Meridian. Here comes Riley on the run all the way down to the other end. Give it off down low. One step to the rack and an easy layup by Emily Stuth. Good job drawing the defense by Zapian. Stuth gets an easy bucket, and we have a Linden Christian timeout with 1.12 left to go in the first half. We'll just take a 30-second break. Meridian, 21. Linden Christian, 18. Coming right back on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. Minute 12 left to go. First half of this one, the Meridian girls out in front of Linden Christian. It's 21 to 18 after the timeout. It's LC ball. Floated down there in the low block. Sam Van Lowe misses the first shot. Gets her own rebound and sticks it back up and in. Good position inside by Sam. Leads to an easy deuce. 21-20. Trojans by a point. Here they come. Zapian holds up play number one with the left hand. Give it off to Harrison. Harrison loses the ball right into the hands of Sam Van Lowe. Easiest steal Sam will get. Give it off Avery Dykstra. Swing it over left side. Isabella Hernandez fakes the shot. Emily Bailey will let fly for three-point range. No good. Van Lowe the rebound. Hit the cutter. Hernandez. Isabella misses. But she gets fouled, and she will go to the line with 35 seconds to go. First half, 21-20 Meridian. Hernandez to the line. Try to give the Lynx the lead. It's again, I, I real impressed with Sam Below and her ability to pass, you know, from the from the post position right there, finding the cutting at Hernandez for a, for a draw to foul. Hernandez hits the first free throw to tie it up at 21. So Meridian will probably come down here, try to use as much of this clock as they possibly can. Lennon Christian will hope, you know, might not have much time, but Hernandez misses the second one, so we have a tie game. Dead even. Football score 21 apiece. Riley Zapian brings it ahead for the Trojans. About a five-second difference here between the game clock and the shot clock in this loser-out game in the Sun Dome. Zapian just over midcourt, looking right side, creeping that way with the dribble now. How beyond the arc? In the corner. Give it to Sitma. Jolie Sitma will square for a baseline three that rims short. No good. Emily Bailey, the rebound for the Lynx. Here they come. Ten seconds. Emily down to the other end. Pull up at the free throw line. Fake the shot. Hit the cutter. Ball goes through about four different pairs of hands. 
Meridian touched it last, so LC will keep it with 4.9 seconds left to go. They'll throw it in right under their own hoop. You want to know why coaches get very fast. Coach Gilmore did not want that early of a shot. LC with a chance to get a hoop. Sam Benlow off the inbound, one step to the rack. Makes the layup, counted for Sam. Meridian will throw it in. They will not have time to get a shot off, and we are at halftime. This is a loser-out game, 1A state tournament in Yakima, and Lyndon Christian scored the final three buckets of the first half, so they have a two-point lead at the break. Lyndon Christian, 23. Meridian, 21. Back to recap the first half in a moment on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. Back here at the Sun Dome in Yakima, Mark Skolton along with Dan Kamick. Day three action at the state tournament for our purposes, the 1A state tournament. All Whatcom County affair, the Linden Christian girls out in front of Meridian, 23 to 21. Dan, nice to see pretty good bounce back from both of these teams. A bit of a slow start, but eventually the running and gunning has begun and uh, starting to look like basketball out there. Yeah, other than the first two or three minutes where you're just realizing it's 10.30 in the morning, it's got a lot better. And the score is not real high, but a lot of that is good defense, both teams. Meridian's got to be really happy. They would have liked to get to halftime there with at least a 21-21 deal. Shot a little early in the shot clock, allowed Lennon Christian to come down and get an easy hoop to go put ahead by two, but... I think if you talk to Coach Gilmore, he just said, okay, if that's where we are at halftime, I'll be happy. His kids are playing really hard, playing really smart. And so a lot to like about that. And for Lennon Christian, same deal. I mean, you would expect this type of game down here at State third day. So a couple teams that know a lot about each other, but both teams playing well. Folks, back here at the Sun Dome in Yakima, Mark Skolton along with Dan Kamick, Jennifer Zaremba, our in-studio producer. This is the early game today. Then we have quite a break before the pair at 5.30 and a couple games to follow at 9. The Linden Christian girls out in front of Meridian, 23-21. Got to win this one to move on. Loser is done for the season. Second half action brought to you on KPUG by Northwest Propane, locally owned and operated for over three generations. Personalized service is the cornerstone of their business at Northwest Propane. Interesting beginning to this. We've got girls running from one side to the other side. And now back to now the original to the side. Original. Looking at the stats a little bit, Mark. Both teams have got nine baskets. Meridian is shooting 40%. Lennon Christian shooting 30%. So, mathematician Mark Stolt, Uh-oh. you're asking yourself, okay, how does that happen? Seven offensive rebounds for Lennon Christian. Zero from Meridian at this point. Asked and answered. So, while uh, Meridian has done a nice job of blocking out, still emphasis has to be to continue on that because Lennon Christian is taller. Uh, Meridian playing good basketball. But that's one thing they could shore up here is do a little bit better job on the blocking out. Trina Hamas throws the inbound to Avery Dykstra right in front of us. We're underway in the second half. Dykstra right side to Emily Bailey. 23-21 links. Loser out game. Hernandez in the corner. Give it off to Hamas. Free throw line. Jumper off the rim. No good. Sam Van Lowe the rebound. The lefty stick back is a thing of beauty. Sam is up to eight points. 25 21 links to our point need to block out been low with the put back linda christian with their eighth offensive rebound of the day meridian the other way it's kyron backland on top over here comes near side kiana gray gray in the corner elise fitzgerald puts that dribble on the ground looks like we'll have a hacking foul trina hamas has that sheepish look on her face we'll see if it's on trina Yep, yes. Thomas will get called for her second. Sheepish look Sheepish. matches. Foul. Meridian will throw it in. Zapian under the Trojans hoop. Riley holds that ball high overhead. In it comes, and Zapian gets it back on the return pass. Three-pointer left side, rimming off. No good. Fight for the rebound right into the hands of Dykes. Here comes Avery on the dead run ahead of the pack. Angles right side. Layup. No, it's not going to go. A nice defensive adjustment at the end by Backlund. Prevented the bucket. Meridian the other way. Here comes Zapian on the run. She'll pull up at long range to Backlund. Fakes a three herself. Top of the key. Hit the trailer. Fitzgerald. Right side Zapian. Wing right to Kiana Gray. Float it down low. Backlund. Kyron spinning with the dribble. Three pointer right side up and good. Kyron Backlund a beauty. Her second three. Eight points total. How can you see that, Mark? Someone's posting up, get the ball in the post, turn around, look at that taller person back all the way to the three-point line, and then calmly knock it down. 25-24 links, make it 27 as Hernandez takes the lead pass. Isabella, about a 14-footer straight away, give her six points. 27-24 links. 
just underway here in quarter number three. A couple good games for Hernandez. Last year, a real struggle down here in Yakima for shooting, but she looks like she's right at that, and she's, she's really shot the ball well for Lynn and Christian. Elise Fitzgerald, top of the key, guarded by Hamas. Kick it out to Backlund, just off to our right. Kyron in the corner, Kiana Gray. Kiana floated down low with the handle. That's Emily Stuth. Right side, Zapian spins toward the bucket. High floater with the left hand. No good. Sam Van Lowe, perfect rebounding technique. Grabs it, throws a long lead pass. Down low it goes. That's Emily Bailey. Touch pass down there in the low block. Trina Hamas is right there to grab it and lay it up and in. Trina's second hoop of the game. 29-24, Lynx, Dan. Touch pass, exactly how it had to be. Meridian girl flashing in front of Hamas. Bailey put it just the right height for Hamas to be able to catch it, and then the easy hoop. Meridian the other way. Zapian steps into a three from the right wing, rimming short. Van Lowe, a flat-footed rebound. Lynx the other way. Avery Dykstra leads him up, as usual. Pull up at the free-throw line. Left side, Hernandez. Isabella fakes the shot. In the corner to Bailey. Emily fakes one herself. Float it down low. All alone. Hamas is right there. Great find. Thomas lays it home. Serena has six, and it looks like Coach Gilmore wants a timeout. He does. 5.07 to go, third quarter. Biggest lead we've seen in a while. Linden Christian girls out in front of Meridian, 31-24. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Come back with more in a moment right here on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. 5.07 left to go in the third quarter. 31-24, Linden Christian up by seven. Riley Zapian. Walking with the dribble over midcourt. A little bit of a danger time here for Meridian. Lynn Christian getting some separation. Meridian's got to answer here to get it back in striking distance. Fitzgerald top of the key. Give it to Tannis Harrison just into the game. Harrison overcomes near side Zapi and Riley thinks about a three. Won't do it. Sitma on the baseline to Kiana Gray. Loses the handle. Sitma gets it back to Gray. Three on the shot clock. Kiana Gray begins the drive and it looks like Sam Van Lowe will get called for a blocking foul. With 4.37 to go, third quarter. Yep, Van Lowe gets called for this one. Riley Dykstra checking in. Grace Sturk coming in. Hernandez and Hamas to the pine for Coach Brady Bummer. Links by seven. They're setting up on defense. Meridian ball, in it comes. Top of the key with the handle, Jolie Sitma. To Zapian right side, Riley out beyond the arc. Right to left hand dribble, cuts into the paint, gets tripped down to the ground. We'll see who the foul is on for LC. Emily Bailey was the closest one there. We'll see if that's the... My money's on Riley Dykes. The foot that got intertwined. Oh, I think Kamek gets a point here. Ooh, yeah. It only puts me about 12 or 13 behind. Nice. Yep, Dykstra will get called for her second foul. Meridian to throw it in. 4.27 to go, third quarter inbound. Elise Fitzgerald, top of the key. Angling right side. Give it to Zapian now. Riley usually handles every time down. Touch pass. Tannis Harrison. Back it goes now with the handle. Elise Fitzgerald. Zapian right in front of the Meridian bench. Approaching the halfway point of this third quarter. In the lane it goes. Jolie Sitma goes up with a left hand. Shot is no good, but she got hacked on the way up, and Sitma will go to the line. Grace Sturk will get called for the hack, her second for the Lynx post player. Jolie Sitma, just a freshman, but you can tell there's good, there's a lot of ability there, and she has a few post moves that she goes to and has been getting a good look, hasn't been able to finish, gets to the free throw line. Jolie's first one rattles and falls. First point for Jolie Sitma. Kiana Gray out. Bryn Magnuson checking in for Meridian. Don't forget, we have a four semifinal night. Ooh, air ball on the free throw. Jolie Sitma, that one comes up well short, floats out of bound. Lynx will get it. She just turned and ran the other way. Yep, maybe nobody noticed. Nobody's usually the philosophy there. You know, it's early in the dome. Maybe everybody's, you know. A little fuzzy. Yeah. Of course, four, we, we did mention it on air. So. Four semifinals tonight. We'll run them down for you here as the second half goes on. Gray Sturk on top, left side. Emily Bailey. Down low, Van Lowe. It's through the hands of Sam. Stolen by Meridian. Zapian has it for the Trojans. Riley left to right hand dribble. Pull up on the baseline. Near side on top, Fitzgerald. Elise give it off to the cutter. Tannis Harrison. Back it goes. Fitzgerald. She's right in front of her own coach, Mark Gilmore. Give it in the paint. Zapian baseline. Hopper off the rim. No good. Avery Dykstra the rebound for LC. 
Links by a half dozen, 31-25. Here they come on the run. Right side, Bailey. Emily for a three. Rimming short. No good. Fight for the rebound. Riley Dykstra touched it last. Meridian will get it back with 3.13 to go in the third. A couple empty sequences for Lennon Christian. Good defense by Meridian keeping this game right at the 6-7 point area. Again, danger place for Meridian, and they've come through defensively. If they can get a hoop down here, make it four or maybe even three, be exactly what they want. Meridian on the run. Here they come. Out beyond the arc with the handle is Sitma. Float it down low. Taken by Stuth. Back he goes Zapian. Riley for a three right side. Partially rejected. Taken by Sam Van Lowe. Give it off to Avery Dykstra. Avery on the run over midcourt. Boy, she's got the Jets going. Give it off to Bocci. Float it down low. Layup will not go for Sturk. Fight for the rebound. Goes out of bounds. Looks like Sam Van Lowe knocked it out. And give it back to Meridian. Yeah. Lennon Christian decided to pull out and come out with a 2-2-1 zone here. Zone press. Full court. Just slowing it down, if nothing else. Make them use a lot of clock. Meridian breaks it easily. Yep. Zapian over midcourt. Hit the cutter in the paint. Ball is tipped. Hernandez gets a hand on it, but it's right to Harrison for Meridian. Tannis working the left hand. Dribble down low to Zapian. Give it to Sitma, who drives baseline. Layup is up. It's no good, but she got fouled. And it looks like Grace Sterk will get called for a bumping foul with 2.24 to go in the third. Links by six, 31 25. Good strength by Sitma. Not in a really good spot, but just kind of just moved Sterk out just enough without fouling her and then forced Grace Sterk to get the, get the foul. Sitma with the first one in. Jolie gets it to go. Double her output to two points. Sterk will take a seat. Trina Hamas back in for the Navy and White. Serena Hamas having like her best minutes of the of the time down here in Yakima last time out with a couple baskets on good assists from Bailey Meridian with the offensive rebound off the miss. So another throw, chance yeah. here. Trojans get it back. They'll throw it to Backlin on top. Skip it over right side looking for Harrison. Instead, they'll give it to Taryn Tuttero. Tuttero return it now. Harrison kick it out on top. Backlin there about 40 feet from the bucket. Backlin put the dribble on the ground. Over it goes. Tannis Harrison at the free throw line. Hit the cutter, Backlund. Kyron pulls up at the free throw line. Runner, the right hand from 15 feet is off the rim. No good. Below the rebound, Sam is getting hacked by three different players. Oh, is it going to be a foul or a tie-up? They're going to call a tie-up. They could have called a foul on any of three Trojans is what it looked like from here. But instead, they'll call the tie-up, and the ball belongs to Meridian. I do believe the Trojans just got a break. Loudest amount of noise from Lennon Christian fans all day, and it I would was. have to agree with them there. Sam could have got out of that. There would have been a lay-in on the other end, and now we get a foul on Hamas. Meridian. So this ought to wake up the blue faithful over there a little. Float it down low to Magnuson. Brynn again gets fouled good and hard. She will set up at the free throw line with 147 to go in the third. Lyndon Christian 31, Meridian 26. Brynn Magnuson scoreless in this one going to the line. Big black knee brace on her right knee for Brynn. Thomas' third foul, by the way. First free throw, a thing of beauty. Swish for Brian Magnuson. 31-27, LC. This is a loser out game. Got a win to live on to tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yikes. <laughs> Next free throw is up and good. Brian Magnuson gets them both. 31-28, links by three. Here comes LC, minute 43, third quarter. Riley Dykstra, three-point range, right side, back to Sister Avery on top. Avery back to Riley, thinks about it, won't do it. Down low, it goes to Hamas in the paint. Van low, Sam loses the ball, but it got tipped. Meridian Trojan got a hand in there. Looks like that's Tannis Harrison. Ball got knocked away, and LC will throw it in again with 14 on the shot clock. Avery Dykstra says, I'll take that. She'll throw it in up high to Van low. Sam catches, lays it in, counted, and she's fouled. That's got to be play number one right there. Sam lays it in. Give her 10 points. She'll go to the line. Try and convert the three-point play. There's such simplicity to it, really, though. Throw it high. Mark, how often do you see like an inbounds play where you got four people running all over the place? All that is there's three Linden Christian people watching as Sam Below simply flashes to the middle of the key. Dykstra just puts it above her head, and she knocks it down. Coach Gilmore scratching his head on that one. Could not have worked better. Sam hits the free throw. Give her 11. Margin is 6, 34-28. Taryn Tuttero over midcourt for the Trojans. Taryn center of the floor. Oh, she's going to call for a carry. Yep. Taryn trying to dribble with the left hand. Got her hand underneath. Will get called for the carrying violation. Turn it over. 
to Lyndon Christian. Again, Meridian, you're just fine. Play, keep playing defense like you are. They're doing a really nice job on it. Lyndon Christian up six here. Got to try to keep keep the links out of scoring. Hernandez tries to float it down low to Sam Van Lowe. Goes off the hands of Jolie Sitma and out of bounds. Lyndon Christian will keep it under their own hoop. Meridian is well aware of the last play to Van Lowe, so a little bit more movement out of the LC. <laughs> Off the inbound, Riley Dykstra, baseline three, rimming short, no good. Avery Dykstra, the rebound, LC will get another look. Kick it out to Bailey on top, Emily Ball fakes, pull up at the free throw line. Right side, Avery Dykstra in the paint, been low. Sam catches, turn around, high hook, lay it in, count it, and she's fouled again for Sam Van Lowe. Lynx have found a winner on that right block. Sam has got a couple buckets in a row. She'll try and finish off the three-point play. She and Avery Dykstra just did a little fish shake celebration. That looked choreographed. I like it. <laughs> Sam Van Lowe to the line. That's what we call carving out space because there really wasn't a lot of space. Jolie Sipman did a nice job of being in Sam Van Lowe's way. Sam just continued to work, and then the pass led her right to the hoop, and now that's two three-point opportunities but Van Lowe with the miss. Sam rims this one off. Meridian rebound. 36-28. A little bit of breathing room for the Lynx in the final minute of this third quarter. Kiana Gray takes the lead pass to Tuttero on top. Over it comes near side. That's Brian Magnuson. Oh, they tried to throw it to Kiana Gray. They threw it too low. They threw it ankle high. It bounced right past her and out of bounds. Good catch by Coach Gilmore on the sideline, by the way. Turn it over to the Lynx. Not the catch he wanted to make, nope. but he was open on the play. I'll give him that. Avery Dykstra over midcourt on the left-handed dribble. Hernandez float it down low. Sam been low again. Sam reverse layup. Good. Counted and she's fouled again. This is a recording. That's three of those in a row for Sam Van Low. Another three-point opportunity. She made the first free throw, missed the last one. We'll see if Sam can get this one. Dan, they found something that worked. Well, Sam will tell you, Sam will be the first to tell you. She's working hard for space, but every one of these passes, there is a margin for error that is very fine. And the, every the one width of them of is basketball? exactly yeah. on the spot where it has to be and then leading her to the basket, which is kind of an interesting way to put it, but that's what any post player would want you to do. Put it somewhere where I'm heading that direction anyway, and letting Christian's girls on their interior passing have been really impressive. Sam's free throw is good. Meridian the other way, and as they cross midcourt, looks like we'll have a reach on the links. Really the thing right now is is Lennon Christian is really locking down defensively down here. The only points that... William Reedy has scored in this quarter have primarily come from the free throw line. I do not re- I do not recall a field goal, but they are hitting some free throws. Fitzgerald with the first one to bring this down to a 10-point game, but Reedy's going to have to find some answers on the offensive end to be able to get back into this. Elise Fitzgerald hits them both, give Elise five points in the game, 39-30. Lyndon Christian almost threw it away. Tidero gets a hand on it from Reedy, and so the Lynx will throw it in. Avery Dykstra will do the honors. And it comes to Emily Bailey. It's coming our way. Emily's got to dive after it. Tuttero dives after it for Meridian. Tuttero gets a hand on it. Goes out of bounds just off to our left. And Lyndon Christian will throw it in. Avery Dykstra getting ready to trigger the inbounds pass. Just off to our left. Five and a half seconds in the third quarter. Links by nine. It's 39 to 30. Coach Bomber's got to play for it. Girls are lined up on the free throw. They got the stat going over there, don't they? No one's even looking this direction. I hope someone looks eventually. Avery Dykstra just looked and smiled, by the way, for whatever that's worth, before she triggers the inbound. Evidently, she has an idea what we're going to do here. Avery will throw the inbounds. We have a brief stoppage of play. Chaos is reigning supreme. And the stoppage is based on Mr. Stolten. You're setting me up for the answer I yeah, don't well, have? Usually that's what you do when you okay. don't know. It's kind of gotcha. a teacher trick. That you makes, know. <laughs> makes two of us. Oh, it's, it's okay. Clock related. Oh. Or possession arrow across the way. Yeah, that's what you do in class, Mark. If you're in a class and a kid asks you a question. You're you not go, new at this. Sorry, hey, I like it. Well, that's a good question. What do you think the answer to that is? I tell you what. Here's your assignment for tomorrow. Oh, you're giving away all your tricks. I know this answer, but I want you to look. And if you can show up tomorrow... With that answer, I will smile nicely and say, good job. Lynx will throw it in. It's Avery Dykstra to our left. They're still having a score clock possession arrow problem across the way. we got people milling around on press row. I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name, but one of the heavy hitters in this building is Mel Moore, and they have called Mel over. 
This must be a big deal. Yes. Man. He also runs the uh, state baseball tournament, so we oh. recognize him well. Uh, he came over there and was fixed in two <coughs> seconds, by yeah. the way. Let the record show. Lynx will throw it in. Avery Dykstra just off to our left. Get it into Hernandez. Isabella back to Avery. Right side. Float it down low. Baseline jumper at the horn from Riley Dykstra is off the rim. No good. And we have three in the books here at the Sun Dome in Yakima. Loser out game. You got a win to live on to tomorrow. And at the end of three, it's Linden Christian 39, Meridian 30. Back for the fourth quarter run in a moment on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. Folks, we're back here at the Sun Dome in Yakima. Grace Sturk will throw it in bounds. A favorite phrase is right in front of us. Get it to Avery Dykstra. Here come the links. We promised you a rundown of the quadru- I not, guess not quadruple header, but four semifinal games tonight. We'll get to that here during this fourth quarter. Links miss a three off the inbound. This is Isabella Hernandez. Riley Dykstra the rebound before Riley could get the stick back up. She'll get called for a travel and give it back to Meridian. It's interesting to see what Coach Gilmer for, from Meridian decides to go with for some changes. Down nine going into the last quarter. Do we stay with the same thing? Or offensively is going to have to be the answer for Meridian. They're having a lot of trouble shaking this man-to-man defense of Linden Christian. Season on the line as the loser of this one is done. Zapian at the top of the key. Working that right-hand dribble. Nobody moving around yet. Shot clock, single digits, down to eight. Riley angles left side, float it down low. Stuth is all alone. Riley Dykstra rotates over, swats that one against the back curtain with four on the shot clock. I was going to say, great find by Zapian, and it was, but a heck of a response by Riley Dykstra. She came out of nowhere. Another talented freshman. Riley Meridian, four on the shot clock. Off the inbound, Harrison, right side. Cuts toward the paint. Lefty layup partially rejected. Looks like Hernandez got a hand on that one. Riley Dykstra the other way. About 100 miles an hour down to the other end. Is Riley going to get called for a tie-up? Yep, they will tie it up. Alternating possession. And give it back to Meridian. Lee Fitzgerald hustling back. Getting in front of Riley Dykstra. Mistake Boy, Riley made there was have the ball low. You want to keep it high so the so the defender can't get it. But really Riley's got that. another gear that some girls don't have, doesn't she? Yeah. Just yeah. a freshman. The only other girl that has a gear like that happens to be her sister on this team. Avery Dykstra, that's right. They'll both be back next year. The whole team except Emily Bailey will be back next year. Here comes Meridian. That's Elise Fitzgerald at long range. On top, Tannis Harrison with 6.52 left. Meridian down nine. It's 39-30. Fitzgerald kills her dribble. Hit the cutter, Harrison. Tannis left side, Fitzgerald. The shot clock was down to one, so Fitzgerald forces up a 30-footer, and she buries it. Fitzgerald had no option with one on the shot clock. She let fly from long range, got it to go. Meridian back within six, six and a half to go. That can pump life into an offense right there. Great shot, nothing but cord. Lyndon Christian the other way. Dykstra, Avery Dykstra, three-pointer right side, no good. Riley the rebound, her stick back won't go. Ball is loose. Zapian has it for Meridian, outlet to Fitzgerald. Trojans have some momentum. Here they come. Pull up three right side. Air ball. Short for Elise Fitzgerald that way. Probably still tired from the depth of the previous three-pointer. That one actually a little bit shorter, but short armed it out of bounds. Lennon Christian. 6-12 in the game. LC has the ball back. 39-33. Lynx also have the lead. Don't be surprised. Lennon Christian coming back, looking for Sam below underneath. Had a lot of success with that through the middle of the third quarter. Throw it to Hamas. There is the pass to Vinlo. Down low, Sam, one step. Oh, too hard with the layup. It was there, but she couldn't finish. Meridian rebound. Here they come. Backlin the other way. Kyron over midcourt, center of the floor. Over it goes left side. That's Riley Zapian. Drives baseline, lays it in with a high right hand. Riley up to seven points. Four-point game, 39-35 links, and it looks like Coach Bomber will call a timeout. He will. We'll take a break. This is a full timeout. 5.36 left to go. Five in a row for Meridian. It's interesting. 39.35 links. Back in a moment on KPUG and KPUG1170.com. Lyndon Christian off the inbound. Hernandez steps into a three. No good. Meridian rebound. Trojans the other way. Backland out beyond the arc. Puts the dribble on the ground. Goes up and under. Misses the shot, but she got fouled. Kyron Backland to the line. If she hits both these, the Lynx... Lead will be down to two at 5.17 to go. Great comeback here by Meridian. Three point by Fitzgerald, which was a bit of a bailout at the end of the shot clock. Kind of has ignited something here. Possible opportunity to get a seven point run here and knock this thing down to a two point ball game. Backland with the first shot. Meridian with all the momentum here. Kyron Backland to nine. Meridian is wearing the Excuse me, momentum, excuse me, is wearing the black of Meridian. Backland, second free throw. This one is off the rim, no good. Been low, the recovery for LC. 
Get off to Avery Dykstra. Avery over midcourt. That right hand dribble, switch lefty, and here she comes. Avery right side, Emily Bailey. Emily down low, Hernandez, her favorite baseline three, rimming short, no good. Kiana Gray, the recovery. Meridian within three, and they throw it away with five minutes left to go in the game. Gray tries to skip it left side into the hands of Stuth. Emily either wasn't looking or had to go right past her. LC has it back. Emily Stuth not usually in the situation of being the outlet pass. Was filling the lane, not really looking for it. More likely it was going to go to Fitzgerald or Zapian. Just kind of a miscommunication there. Too bad. Give away a possession. Lynx the other way. Isabella Hernandez give it over to Avery Dykstra. Back to Hernandez left side. 4.44 in the game. Lynx up by three. It's 39-36 in the paint. Van Lowe, Sam catches, steps to the rack and lays it up and in. Good exterior passing led to a good interior pass. Sam was alone, and she is up to 18. 41-36, Lynx. Again, pinpoint pass by Bailey. That's three or four of those that have been right on the money. Gray from Rudian had really good position. It was fighting below every bit of it, and Sam had one spot it had to be, and that was on the left hand. Now an offensive foul against Gray. Kiana Gray jumps up into the ground, does the double fist pump. Kind of yelling at the ref's back. You don't normally get a technical. The old coach, Bill Kelly, used to say he never got shot in the back. When you talk to a referee's back, you don't normally get in trouble. That's one of my favorite phrases of all time. Yep, I like that one. Gray gets her third foul. Lynx have it back with 414 left to go. 41-36, Lynx by five. They have the handle. Avery Dykstra brings it across. Lead pass been low at the free throw line. Sam turns, kick it in the corner. Riley Dykstra, float it down low. Emily Bailey, reverse layup off the rim. No good. Fight for the loose ball. Backlund has it. Always in that crouch on the dribble over midcourt. Here comes Kyron on the run. Pull up at the free throw line. Angle it left side. Looks like we'll have a shoving foul against the Lynx. Riley Dykstra was closest. We'll see if it's on her. A screaming out of the backcourt. Backlund wow. really pushing hard there. Drawing the foul. Getting to the free throw line again. Primarily the place where Meridian's been getting points to their credit, making most of their free throws. 3.52 left in the game. Backlund to the line. First free throw up and good. Kyron gets it to go. First Trojan to double figures. That's 10 for Kyron. Sam Van Loa, game high 18 for Lyndon Christian, has been tearing it up down low. Backlund to try and get them back to within one possession. Next free throw. Nope, rattles out. Lynx rebound. That's Riley Dykstra. The freshman will keep it herself out of backcourt. Defer to her big sister Avery and the junior point guard will bring it ahead. Avery pulls up top of the key. Tap dancing a little bit out there. Give it in the corner back to Riley. Riley drives baseline, goes up strong, misses the shot, but she'll go to the line. Riley Dykstra to the stripe. Those Dykstras, they don't have a lot of fear in their game, do they, Dan? <laughs> no. Just go there and get take the contact, get to the line. Riley's had some tough luck, luck opportunities here. Trying to get a n- knock down a couple here. For Lyndon Christian, it's primarily been the low here in the second second half as Riley Dykstra misses the first. Riley yet to score in this one with 3.34 left to go. Four-point game, 41-37 links. Jolie Sitma back in for Meridian. Emily Stuth will take a seat. Again, Meridian in excellent position here with Dykstra shooting the second shot. Riley puts it up. No, she missed another one. Rebound tipped around. Van Lowe is right there to grab it. Sam stick back won't go. Isabella Hernandez. Rebound rattles off the iron. Float it down low. Van Lowe will get another opportunity. Sam can't get it to go. Did she get stuck in the paint? Nope, it's a traveling violation. Lynx had three chip shots. None of them went. And Van Lowe walked by the time they set up the third one. Yeah, Van Lowe was off balance to start with. And then just the pressure of the Meridian defense just threw her off. Good call by the official. Meridian the other way. Riley Zapian angling right side with the dribble out to Gray. Three-point distance right side. On top, Elise Fitzgerald. 15 on the shot clock. Elise give it over to Zapian. Three-point distance right side. Riley Dykstra right in her face. Off it goes now. Kyron Backlund over to Fitzgerald. Five on the shot clock. They'll drive, and it looks like Coach Gilmore wants a timeout. He does. We will take a break with 2.59 left to go in this one. Linden Christian 41, Meridian 37, a loser out game in Yakima. Take a timeout and come back in a moment on KPUG. Meridian will throw it in after the timeout. Just under three minutes, Fitzgerald. Three-pointer top of the key. Her second desperation heave that goes in. 
Fitzgerald up to 11 points. How about this? We got a one-point game. Links up 41-40. They have the handle. She's hit two bombs Good for golly. three pointers, and she lined up with a lot of confidence on that one. Links the other way. Emily Bailey on top. Here's Emily's three-pointer. It's up, rimming short. No good. Meridian rebound. Here they come. A chance to take the lead. Backlund will keep it herself. Skip it off left side. Zapi in a hard time catching up with it. Ball is loose, and Isabella Hernandez has it for the links. Isabella's not going to slow down. Here she comes the other way. Jump stop in the lane. Goes for a lefty layup. No good. She got fouled on the way in. And Hernandez to the line. Isabella sitting with six points. A couple of free throws here. Could increase that Lynx lead to three with 2.22 left to go. Yeah, crucial sequence right there. Meridian, good numbers on the break. Lynn and Christian able to get the steal. And now Hernandez back the other way with the first free throw, but off. Then and Christian struggling at the free throw line. Coach Bomber clapping his hand, letting his girls know it's okay. But Meridian's one big shot here from taking the lead. And again, momentum seems to be on the side of the black team. Hernandez, second free throw. This one swirls and falls for Isabella. She has seven points. 42-40, links by two. 219 left. Riley Zapian leads Meridian up. Two to tie, three for the lead. Zapian pulls up at the free throw line. High floater with the left hand is off the rim. No good. Looks like she got fouled on the way in. She did, and Riley will go to the line. Two here could tie us up. Riley Dykstra gets called for the foul. It's four on Riley. Seemed to be a drive with the simple purpose of drawing the drawing contact and getting to the line. Smart player. Zapian free throw is off the rim. No good. Riley Zapian, a four-year starter for these Meridian Trojans, and you see it a lot out there. Riley will get the second one. It's up. No good. Missed them both. Still the links by two. 42-40. Emily Bailey the recovery, and Emily will keep it herself over midcourt. Signals play number one with the left hand. 42-40 LC. Clock running. Two minutes left to go. Avery Dykstra drives baseline and lays it up and in. Well done. Veteran move by Avery. Give her six points. Meridian overplaying the high screen. Dykstra taking the baseline for an easy bucket. Too easy. Meridian needs to answer. Trojans the other way. It's Zapian out at long range. Give it out on top. It's Kyron Backlund. Backlund angling left side. Pull up left side. Wing jumper. Rimming short. No good. Fight for the rebound. Van Lowe has it for Lyndon Christian. And either Gray or Sipma will get called for a hacking foul here for Meridian with 1.33 left to go. Still a really good look. Some better sequences offensively for Meridian down here. So Coach Gilmore would have liked the hoop but has to like the look. Lennon Christian on the free throw line having trouble. And Lowe has been fairly consistent there. So maybe if she can knock down a couple, get a little breathing room for Coach Bomber as we have a timeout. Looks like a full yep. time. Coach Gilmore will call a full timeout for Meridian. We'll take a break with 1.33 left to go. 44-40, Linden Christian. Links at the line when we return in a moment on KPUG. Got to win this one to move on to the 8 a.m. game tomorrow for fourth and sixth place. The Linden Christian girls lead Meridian 44-40. Minute 33 left. Sam been low to the line for LC. First one is up. It rattles off. No good. Gray the rebound. Here comes Meridian to Zapian over midcourt. They don't got to be frantic yet, but it's close. Zapian out high between the rings. Pull up left side. Kills her dribble. Looking to unload. Get it to Fitzgerald. Closer to midcourt. Fitzgerald angling right side. Blows past her defender Dykstra. Give it down low. Kiana Gray goes up. Foul will be called. Looks like it's a reach on Sam Van Lowe. And we will have Kiana Gray at the line for a pair. Try to shave a couple points off that four-point LC lead. Comes down to free throws here, Mark. How many free throws have both teams had opportunities to make where they haven't had? A couple by Zapian down here. A miss by Van Lowe there. Someone's going to have to make some free throws. Kiana Gray, first one. There she is. Kiana Gray gets it to go. Point number five for Kiana in this contest. And Meridian's within a single possession, 44-41. And can you imagine if she makes the second one and Meridian to get a stop, how nervous would the Linden Christian faithful be if someone like Fitzgerald had the ball in her hands with a shot up for three? So a lot of energy here for Meridian, and they should have it. Gray, second shot is perfect. Meridian within two. LC ball leading 44-42. Left side, Avery Dykstra. Avery circling on top with the dribble. Right side, that's Riley Dykstra inside the arc. Kick it over to Bailey. Down low, Sam Van Lowe. Sam catches, spins toward the middle. Kick it in the corner, Hernandez. Isabella for a high arcing three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound is fought for. Ball is loose. 49 seconds. Meridian has it. Here comes Fitzgerald. Links by two. Meridian the other way. Backlund, a jumper to tie. It's up and good. Fitzgerald gets, excuse me, that's Backlund. Kyron Backlund hits it. 
Give her 12. We're all even. 44 apiece. 35 seconds left. Here come the Lynx. And Coach Bomber wants a timeout. Oh, my. 32.7 seconds left to go. Timeout, Linden Christian. We'll keep the action here to kind of catch our wind a minute. What a jumper on the right side by Backlund. We're all tied at 44. Dan, not the exact scenario you described, but pretty close. Well, good find by Fitzgerald coming out of the scramble in the back. There was ball on the ground, 50-50 ball. Who gets the ball? Meridian does. Fitzgerald comes out, immediately gets her head up. You know, see the floor, Backlund wide open, gets it down to her, and then she has the courage to take the 15-footer, and they're nothing but cord. So, again, great action from Meridian right now. you got to have all the faith in the world. 25 second clock at the very least whatever happens with Lennon Christian you're going to get a chance yep. with the ball and possibly even if Lennon Christian was to make a shot you could still come down and tie or get the win so really good position for coach Gilmore and Meridian here see what coach Bomber designs I got to think Van Lowe and Avery Dykstra are going to be a big part of what happens here 32.7 seconds left to go in the game. Full 25 on the shot clock for LC. We are tied at 44 after that clutch, clutch jumper rather by Kyron Backlund. Van Lowe will throw it in to Avery Dykstra. Right in front of the LC bench. Coach Bomber's over there shouting instructions all the while. Avery takes the inbound. Here we go. 30 seconds left. Tie game. Dykstra. Right hand dribble. Staying right side. They'll work a little bit of clock to set themselves up for this play. Coach Gilmore makes the switch. Demand. Now they jump to zone. Well done. Bailey in the corner. Back on top. Dykstra. Shot clock to eight. Down low. Sam Vinlow. Catches. Nowhere to go on the baseline. Kick it out. Hernandez. Isabella. Left side. Emily Bailey for a three for the lead. Off the rim. No good. Meridian rebound. Ball is tipped. Trojans have it. Four seconds. Three. Here they come the other way. A quick timeout with three seconds left to go. And just eyeballing it here. Looks like Meridian will inbound the ball about 50 feet from the hoop. And even three seconds. Dan, they got the ball into the right player's hands. Maybe not quite where they wanted it. Well, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a heave from somewhere. But we've seen Fitzgerald heave it from deep. Yes. Backlund just showed us something. Got to think that those two will be involved in this. Good situation for Meridian. You can't go wrong. You're either going to overtime or... You're going to win the ball game. So the only thing for that is, you know, Lyndon Christian will play pressure man. Got to avoid the steal. But uh, I like where I am if I'm Meridian right here. We're tied at 44. Three seconds left to go. Remember, this is a loser out game. The winner plays Bellevue Christian at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for the fourth and sixth place trophies. We'll see what Lyndon Christian has in mind here. Mind you, they're on the wrong end of midcourt. So they're going to have to go 50, maybe 55 feet here. See if they want to try a baseball pass or a regular inbound and a couple dribbles. Yeah, Meridian with the ball. Kind of over there by about where That's Coach true. I Bomber. said the wrong way, didn't I? It Coach, is Trojan ball. Coach Bomber's right standing there. So you're a good 55, 60 feet. Riley Zapian with we'll the, the inbound. Yep, here she comes. Kyron Backlund is the closest to her. I'm looking for Fitzgerald and Backlund. Zapian to throw it in. Here they come. Backlund comes to her. Kyron looking to unload. Takes the pass. Couple dribbles. Here comes a long right before the horn for the win and it's going to come up short it's short and left Backlund came to a complete stop about 30 maybe 32 feet away let fly it was a high arcer. we could tell it was going to be short and folks we are going to overtime here in Yakima Meridian and Linden Christian again in this loser out game tied at 44 at the end of regulation take a time out come back with the OT in a moment on KPUG and KPUG 1170.com and we have an overtime game here from the state tournament. Linden Christian and Meridian, even at 44 apiece. Got a win to move on. We'll jump it up again. The Lynx will handle. Van Lowe tips it to Hernandez. LC. Moving to our left here in the OT. They put four minutes on the clock. Dykstra at top of the key. Avery over to Hernandez. Out beyond the arc, right side. Back on top to Bailey. Emily puts that dribble on the ground. Steps into a 15-footer. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound taken off by Meridian. Zapian brings it across. Easy to see Riley with that big mask covering the broken nose she suffered at Districts. Got to like the look of the Meridian kids' faces. They're, they're playing this game to win it and going after it. Elise Fitzgerald, right side, Backlund. Kyron, pull up at the free throw line. Here's her 15-footer. Swish. Kyron Backlund, a perfecto. Give her 14 points. She leads Meridian. 46-44. Trojan strike first in the OT. That was nearly of the double pump variety. It wasn't real natural. 
Emily Bailey, a three for the lead for LC. Rimming off, no go. Long rebound to Avery Dykstra. Hook pass looking for Grace Sturt. Grace got bumped good and hard. Goes down to the deck. We'll see what this one's going to be. Looks like a Meridian foul. If it's Gray, it might be five. And she's been very important to the defense on the low. I'm not sure on that, however. Kiana is heading this way. That's a, yep. that's, that's a loss because she has been the primarily responsible for trying to keep Sam below from getting to her spot. So for Lynn and Christian, next time down, watch for them to really work hard to enter to Monlo. Kiana Gray has just fouled out of this game with six points. Grace Sturk to the line. Grace has a couple of buckets. Dips at the knees. First free throw is up. It's back rim and it rolls in for Grace. The soft touch gets the friendly roll. Give her five points. 46-45 Trojans. They stirred someone who had to step in as Riley Van Holzen went down about one-third of the way through the season. Riley, a big contributor to this team the last two years, out with a knee injury, so lots more time for Sturk, and she gets both free throws to tie it up. Riley, by the way, is only a junior. We'll see her next year. Grace, the other direction as we are tied at 46, 250 to go. Backland on the baseline. Trojans. Hernandez in the face of Backlund. Kick it out over here near side with the handle. Emily Stuth to Zapian on top. Seven on the shot clock. Zapian pulls up on the wing. Nice little left-hand pass, and it's going to be stolen. Grace Sturk rips it off of the links. Hand it to Dykstra. Avery Dykstra. Here come the links. Zapian anticipating the roll after the pick and did not get one. Bailey. Right side, Hernandez. Here's Isabella for a three. Off the rim. No good. Great block out by Stuth. Ball hit the ground before anybody got it on that block out. Meridian rebound. Here comes Zapian. We're tied at 46. 2.13 left to go in the first overtime. And they just threw it away. It's coming over here. March. I had to go down like a shortstop. Never played shortstop, but the ball went under the curtain. We got it. Yeah, it looked like you were following it well. Safely back on the field of play. I think I also suffered a strained back muscle. We'll worry about that later. Disappointing couple sequences here for Meridian as they've thrown the ball away twice. But Lennon Christian having a lot of trouble finding the range. you got to think Van Lowe is going to be a big part of this. 46 all. Over it goes. Dykstra right side. Jumper for the lead is up and good. Avery sticks that one right in the heart. Dykstra has eight points. 48-46 links. 148 left. Here comes Meridian. Zapian over midcourt. Riley cuts into the paint, pulls up, switches to the left hand. High hook shot will not go, leaves it short. Sam Van Lowe the rebound for LC. Give it back to Avery Dykstra. Avery pulls up at the free throw line, takes a right turn. Now she'll wait for her teammates to set up around her. To Van Lowe in the paint, Sam goes up strong, gets fouled. And Sam will go to the line with 1.29 left to go in the overtime. A couple here make it a two-possession LC lead. That has been the one problem for Radian in the second half. They have beat up on everybody else. Sam Below has been a thorn in their side, but can she make the two free throws? Been a problem for Lennon Christian here. Sam, a game-high 18 points. First free throw, rimming it short. No good for Sam Below. Some encouraging words from Avery Dykstra. Below, second shot, it's good. Sam gets this one. She has 19, and the Lynx are up by three, 49-46. Here comes Meridian. Kyron Backlund over midcourt on the far wing. Most of Meridian's offense here second half has been Backlund or Fitzgerald creating Zapian with the drive. Not a lot out of their set offense. Stuth at long range. Give it off Fitzgerald on top. Minute six in the overtime. Fitzgerald pulls up, switches left hand, loses the handle on the ball because it got tipped. LC defender got tipped. Tips the ball, excuse me. Meridian will throw it in. Five on the shot clock. 103 in overtime. Trojans are trailing. 49-46. Zapian will throw it in. In it comes to Fitzgerald. Ball is tipped. Dykstra got a hand on it. Tried to talk the ref into the fact that Fitzgerald touched it, but no dice. Three on the shot clock. Fitzgerald will trigger it in right off to the side of us. Get the ball and shoot it if you're Meridian. Trojans get the inbound back then. Here's another long three-point heave. She leaves it just short. She was on line, but she left it short. Shot clock violation. Give it back to the Lynx. 57 seconds in overtime. LC has the ball and a 49-46 lead. Three empty possessions from Radian here in overtime causing a problem. LC gets a hoop here. It's going to be difficult. Dykstra the other way. That's Avery. Put it down low. Sam low. Left side Dykstra. Avery thinks about a wing jumper. Won't do it. On top, Hernandez. Right side with the handle, Emily Bailey. 12 on the shot clock. Skip it down low. Sam Van Logan's taken down to the ground. 
Yeah, that was Sam down there in the low block. She essentially got barrel rolled into, and she will go to the line for a couple with 36.7 seconds left to go, and the Lynx up by three. And that's Sitma following following out now from Meridian, so that was one of the answers they had for Van Lowe. Stuth remaining post player in there. What will Coach Gilmore go with here? Going to have to take a time yep. out to think Coach it over. Coach is going to have to have the debate right now, folks. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. 36.7 seconds left to go. In overtime, Linden Christian 49, Meridian 46. Coming right back on KPUG. 36.7 seconds left to go in overtime. Linden Christian 49, Meridian 46. We're taking this one about as far as it'll go. Don't forget, still to come tonight, four semifinal games for Whatcom County. The Mount Baker girls play Granger at 5.30 on AM 930 KBAI. The Linden boys play Foss at 5.30 right here on KPUG. The Linden girls take on WF West at 9. That one's over on AM 790 KGMI. The Linden Christian boys play Zilla at 9. That'll be right here on KPUG. Then low to the line. Sam hits it. She has 20 points. Easily your game high score. I guess maybe not easily. Backlund has 14 for Meridian. Sam, next one is up. Good. Clutch. Couple big ones there. Van Lowe gets him to go. She has 21. Links by five. And again, what's Meridian going to do offensively now? We're just one post player. Backlund out beyond the arc. Over it goes in the corner. That's Tannis Harrison on top. Backlund. 22 seconds. 21 seconds. Here's Backlund for a three. Left side. Rimming short. No good. Fight for the rebound. Grace Sturt grabs it for LC. She's immediately fouled. And only now do we maybe mumble for the first time that it looks like Lyndon Christian is going to be able to get it done in this one. With 16 seconds left to go, they're up by five. Free throws coming right here for Grace Sturk. Yep, still a ways to go yet. It's doable with Fitzgerald and Backlin on the floor. It can happen, but Lyndon Christian can salt this way if they can just make free throws. Grace to the line, first free throw up and good. Sturk, seven points in this game. Links by six, 52-46. All-important free throw here makes it a two-possession. It's going to be hard enough anyway. Free throw off the rim, no good. Backlund the rebound for Meridian. Here they come on the run. Backlund will keep it herself. Pull up, give it over right side, Zapian. Ten seconds in the game. Zapian, nowhere to go. Back it goes to Backlund. Six seconds, five. Long three right side, partially rejected. Below the rebound for Linden Christian, and that's going to do it. They'll dribble out the clock, and the Linden Christian girls live on until tomorrow. They take this game in overtime. This loser out game, they have enough to get it done. Linden Christian, 52. Meridian, 46. Meridian has their season come to an end. Linden Christian will play Bellevue Christian at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning in the fourth and sixth place trophy game. On the other hand, the season is over for the Meridian girls. That is an impressive team, and Coach Mark Gilmore has done a heck of a job building that program. LC 52, Meridian 46. We'll take a timeout, come back, look at some of the numbers in a moment right here on KPUG. Back here at the Sun Dome in Yakima, Mark Skolden along with Dan Kamick. An all Whatcom County showdown ends well for the Linden Christian girls, not so much for the Meridian girls. They have their season come to an end. LC takes it in overtime, 52 to 46. Dan, we're just talking to the LC staff, obviously. Let's not forget about those Meridian Trojans. I know you and Coach Gilmore go way back. You guys played against each other. He's a good Trojan. He took over this team, making good things happen. He followed these girls from their AAU days, has turned them into a cohesive unit. They're pretty special, and that's a program that's only going to be on the rise. Well, pretty young. I mean, you lose Zapien, and that's a big loss. Yep. Uh, I believe Gray, I'm not sure who the other seniors are. I'd have to look exactly ah. and find out, but you're young with a few of those kids and a lot to build on right there but you know mark there was a point in this game where i believe it was a seven or maybe even a nine point lead for linden christian and that's usually the place the time where the links kind of pull away the other team kind of folds their tents and says not today but there was no quit in the trojans and you you see those kids walking off the floor there when i was out there and the tears in their eyes because it means a lot to them and they care about it but you know they're gonna they're gonna look back at this and what a great experience it was for them and Meridian should be really proud of those girls because they played really hard here today. I was really impressed, if nothing else, for just that tenacious, tough, and the look in their eyes. I mean, if you're out in radio land, you don't see it, but you can see it in people's eyes. There was no fear. They were going to take it to the Lynx, and they gave them everything they wanted. And quite frankly, the Lynx could look at that, and it could have went either way. It really could have with Meridian having the last shot there. But uh, 
the foul trouble, uh, the size of and low inside, eventually wore them down to the point where they really struggled inside to be able to defend her, and then she was able to make a few free throws down the stretch. Lynx do it in overtime, 52-46, to 46, led by the game-high 21 points of our post-game guest, Sam Van Lowe. Dan, at, at stretches of this game, she was absolutely dominant. There was one sequence where she had a rebounded miss three times in a row. She had great position, and she knew what to do with it. Really impressed with her down here. But again, Mark, as I mentioned in the broadcast, you know, the Meridian post player, post defenders were doing a good job of taking away and giving a very limited window for the Living Christian pass to come in and especially emily bailey put a couple that were just laser focused right on her hand the only place it could have been and i would like to think sam would be the first one to tell tell you that the, the pass would take her straight to the hoop and allow her to get the easy lay-in but uh she worked hard uh, lynn and christian did a nice job of being patient and seeing coach mom were seeing that that was the clear advantage the clear difference here in the second half was the interior passing of lynn and christian and the play of sam below and the passing of the people on the outside Linden Christian takes it by six. We mentioned 21 for Van Lowe. Big drop off after that, but some nice balance. Eight for Avery Dykstra, seven each for Grace Sturk and Isabella Hernandez. Six for Trina Hamas and a three-pointer for Emily Bailey. Emily, the lone senior, she will be wrapping up her career coming up tomorrow. The Meridian Trojans led by the 14 points of Kyron Backlund. 11 for Elise Fitzgerald. Seven for Riley Zapian. Again, the final game of Zapian's career. She will be missed in and around Whatcom County. Seems like she's been there forever, four years on the varsity. Six for Kiana Gray before she fouled out. And then two apiece for Taryn Tuttero, Emily Stuth, Jolie Sitma, and Bryn Magnuson. Meridian was ahead 12-11 to after one. Links up 23-21 at the half. LC led 39-30 to through three. Meridian outscores them 14 to 5 in the fourth to tie us up at 44 apiece. They actually had a shot in the air for the win that came up short. And Lyndon Christian takes it in OT. 8 to 2 in the overtime. A 52 46 final score. The LC girls will play bright and early, as early as it gets, 8 a.m. tomorrow against their old longtime district rival, the Bellevue Christian Vikings, for fourth and sixth place. Take a time out, come back, look at the rest of the schedule for tonight in a moment, right here on KPUG.